Hi, I'm Kurt Gums, born and raised on the tiny but beautiful island of Anguilla. Moved to London about 16 years ago, and today what I want to do is take you through what's essentially a posh cheese toasty. And what makes it posh is because of the little luxury ingredient of fresh white crab meat. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to be doing that today. So what we have over here is simple ingredients. We have some milk, some salt, about 60, 70 grams of flour, 60 grams of butter, and that's to make the white cheese sauce. Um, but it's going to be having a bit of extra ingredient. So what I have is Gouda cheese. I have some tropical Sazon season, which again is a season that I absolutely love to use. And we have a cheddar cheese powder. And um, what's this? It's basically for those from the Caribbean who eats like Kraft macaroni and cheese and so forth. You know that orange cheese powder that's inside of there? Well, this is a very similar product. And I'm going to be making a bachelor sauce using this to then start to build my, my toasties. I have some white thick white toasty bread and I also have some grained bread as well which we're going to be bringing up later so to start this off I'm just going to be warming up my pan slightly it's very simple I'm going to add the butter into the pan let that start to melt down once everything is melt down I add in my flour Just cooking out the flour, ensuring that it doesn't burn and stick too bad to the bottom of the pan. At this stage, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And I love to use more than salt, but you can use fine salt if that's what you have. To that, I'm gonna add about 250 mils of milk. And start to whisk it very quickly it start it will start to thicken up very fast just to ensure that you have no lumps here at this stage I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of the sazon and what this does give it a nice salty taste along as well helping with a rich saffrony orange color as you can see how it's really turning to thicken up and turn like orange already you want to whisk that nice i have a bit of milk left over i'm going to add it in as well continue to whisk just turn the temperature down a bit just to make sure it doesn't splash out nice At this stage, I'm going to add a bit of the cheese powder. Again, the same like the sazon, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this cheese powder. Two tablespoons of the cheese powder. But you don't have to add cheese powder. You can just use cheese for what you have at home. You can use some grated parmesan instead. But this goes with the theme that I want. So you're going to get that nice voluptuous cheese sauce. Look at that. And again, this as well, you want to make sure it's cooked up really nicely. Don't leave it burn. You can check it, keep, get, keep it moving around. And what we have in here is a nice cheese sauce that's gonna go to start to build up these toasty sandwiches. So here what we got, our cheese. Bachelor is nice, bubbling, it's cooked through. I'm gonna now remove that off the stove very nice very silky and I'm just gonna so we got the cheese sauce it's all cooled down now and we're gonna start to build some toasties. And what you wanna do is just take your bread out, whether you're using white toast or brown toast, which I'm gonna do one of each. We're gonna to start to spread this cheese mixture. See, it's nice and thick. 
obviously when it's hot again it's gonna really get luscious and gooey but you can see that nice good wobble on the on the cheese just get that inside of there gonna put some a layer of cheese here again it could be Swiss Emmental Gouda whatever type of cheese you like spread some more cheese sauce over on the other side and on this side I'm just gonna put a bit of the crab meat A bit inside and we're gonna put a bit later when we fry it off with a gonna top it with a nice sunny side up egg so you got cheese cheese sauce that looks like a lot you're gonna close that press it down gonna do the next one a layer of cheese bit of crab and you, if you want you can put more cheese less cheese depends on how cheesy you want it For instance, I got some mozzarella here as well so I'm gonna put some inside as well just to make it more cheesy so I'm using two different cheeses in this one. Then I'm just gonna cover it, press it down. What I got here is some soft butter. Just gonna spread some soft butter onto it. Next, what we're gonna be doing now is actually cooking the toasties off. Like, oh yeah, I can't wait to get this in the pan. Um, you know, here we got bread, it's a bit of butter, it's already set, it's just a bit of oil, and I'm gonna just put that down. And we're gonna watch that start to color off nicely, golden on each side. What we got over here. It's just a bit of mayonnaise with chili, let down a bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna put some of the crab, mix some of that with the crab. A bit of spring onions, some green chilies. going to finish it off later on so you have some crab inside and you have some crab on the top and what we have here is some brown crab butter which is the brown crab meat mixed with butter some paprika some salt some comfy shallots some lemon juice lemon zest and that's what we're going to do to cook our egg in a bit all right next what we got is just to turn it Look at that toasty. And that's just a bit of butter and oil. And I'm gonna turn this again too. And now what you wanna do is to just finish this off in the oven for about three to four minutes at 180 degrees. Keeping with the theme, you know, to finish off our toasties, 
I'm just going to be doing a little sunny side up egg. So I'll just take it out, toast these out. And here on the toasties, we got a bit of brown crab butter. Now I'm just gonna get onto the nice hot toasty. Sinking in that nice crabby flavor, more into that cheese toasty, filled with some crab meat on the inside, some crab on the outside. Spring onions on our egg. And then that crab meat, that luscious crab meat that we had from before. Just gonna see that stringy gooiness. Get it onto my plate. So there you go. Uh, posh cheese toasty, bit of crab, sunny side up eggs, some spring onions, more crab meat on top. Just take it out of the oven, spread it with a bit of brown crab butter. If you don't have it, a cheese toasty normal will do, you know. Um, whew, can't wait to dig into this food, boy. Simple, easy to do, kids love it, and I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you.